Yeah. Why didn't you say goodbye? I, I'm sorry. Is that, is that what we're doing? I mean, I just you didn't tell me you were leaving, so I thought maybe it's you weren't leaving. I, I, if that's that's cool. If that's what we're doing, saying goodbye every time, that's that's totally cool. I'm down with that. I mean, it's not like you leave all like that often. It's not that hard to say goodbye. <laughs> I am here quite a bit. I'm here. You could just say bye, Scott. Once a day when I leave, pop in and say goodbye. Say goodbye. That's all I'm asking. Like at the end of your vlogs, you say goodbye at the end of them, right? You do a little outro. Yeah, man. You didn't tell me. I, I didn't think I had to. I thought it was common sense. You say goodbye. <sighs> okay. Okay. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. All right. When are you gonna be back? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>It was so much fun. Came back this with a beer. Looks, it you looks like fun. Doing, I'm good, man. Welcome back. Dude, it was so cool there. Eh? Was it? Please down, I would move there. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. I was thinking about not even coming back. Really? Yeah, we actually looked at property in Queenstown. Really? Just leave your life? Mm hmm And just leave everything you have here behind? Yeah. Wow. I would leave everything. You would just leave me? I could never leave you.
Not just New Zealand. Okay. Ibiza. We'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. But how will we get girls in Ibiza without Todd? We're gonna <laughs> muscle explosion. <laughs> oh, okay. So this will replace Todd. We just bring this. We just bring the muscle explosion. Why don't we just bring this muscle explosion? Because we're <laughs> we're teaching him a lesson for going somewhere without it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm kind of over it. He, I think he should just come. I can't get your real opinion because you exaggerate everything. You'll see that balloon and you'll be like, that's a, that's a really good helium balloon. <laughs> no, well, there's, no, like, there's no in between. You can't be like, that's, that's good, but we should get a better one, right? I know exactly what you're saying. He like, does that constantly. What, what, what? You just walked in and you're like, you're just so positive, Jason. You, you walked in from the pool and you're like, that pool is insane. As if you just took a bath in God's piss. Like, it's not, it's not, this isn't some crazy pool we have outside. And you make it sound like it's hot shit. And that's why, like, when I ask you for your actual opinion, I feel like it's not, like, an actual opinion because I feel like you're over-exaggerating. That's ridiculous. I happen to fucking enjoy life a little bit, you goddamn piece of shit. No, I'm, I'm sorry we don't all have Teslas to ride around no, in. No, 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 The no. rest of us have to let little things make us happy. You can like the pool, but don't walk in like you just, like, so the best pool of your life, because then when you do see the best pool of your life, I'm not gonna know that you just saw it. Did I say it was the best pool of my life? Did I say that? No, but you, and Scott, you understand, right? I understand, but I, I'm putting it in other perspectives as well. Like when I do like a bit with you or something, you're like, oh, that, you did great, you did a great job. I'm like, did I really though? Yeah. Uh, if you didn't, I never know. You, well, that's your problem. You always think you don't do a good enough don't, job. Don't project <laughs> your problems onto others. Shut the. Up, David. You always do that. That's your problem. You don't have enough confidence. You're performing. You're always like, let me do it again. I'm like, no, it was great. So you Here's think I have a problem? We were talking about your problem. Yeah, well, we'll find something about Zane next. Look, I'm just, let me eat, please. Like, I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> Damn, that looks amazing. Those look like the best mashed potatoes Jason's ever seen. <laughs> you look like the biggest dick I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Man, I can side with you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you can give him a mansion, like a free mansion, and he'd be like, there's only two pools in here. No, exactly. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Nothing's good enough for you. I love this place. Nothing. I this love pool's this place. only six feet deep. You do suck the happiness out of everything. It, it, it's, 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 hard to, it's hard to do, you know, think like that when you have a Tesla that drives itself. He's just on things people give him. Like, no. the t yeah, like, like, uh, the fucking orange. I bought two different oranges. <laughs> he fucking, I, Zane, I bought like a, a two different kinds of oranges. I'm peeling it. He fucking puts his hand. While the skin is still on it, like, ugh. Yeah, that was fucked up. I'll admit that that was fucked up. Okay, and then... That's one thing I fucked up on. I just should have been more polite about it. That's why I closed the P.O. box, because the family was getting it. It was just like, not up to the same. Not good enough. <laughs> not good enough? <laughs> <laughs> Send me these fucking nice letters. <laughs> I got a fucking present. He opens the letters, he'll go like this, and he's like, see if any money falls out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're all liars, David. They're all lying to you and they say they love you because they, they're so positive like me. You know what I, mean. I don't. I don't know what you mean at all. I think you're batshit. I think you're out of your fucking mind. Jason, Evil. You, we literally talked about this with you and Josh. How you're like overly nice and you're overly really nice true. about people and about certain things. And what did we deduce? You said. Yeah, you're fucking crazy. No. You said in that video, I have it on video, that you're like, it's actually an endearing thing that Jason does. He actually is being genuine. It just takes a minute for people to realize it's that. Endearing, it's endearing when you don't live, like when you're not living with you constantly. If you came to me and you were like, that's a great point. I'm like, wow, he really digs that pool. But after I hear you say that about the eggnog, about a carton of milk, then I understand that it's just a facade and it's bullshit. Do you know what I mean? It's not a facade, David. I appreciate the little things in life. Maybe because I'm older, when you get older, little things are fucking, they mean a lot. Yes, I do. They're I not am so, I am, I am 100% a proponent of, uh, like, I support little things being great. I, but not every little thing can be great. I walked in. I had a nice fucking, you just have to fucking ruin everything I have. And I don't have much, David. Sorry, Jason, when you walked in and you said your line, you are like, you were like, oh, that pool is so <laughs> amazing. I sat here for like 10 seconds, I'm like, do I want to get into this? <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I, I need to, I need to say something. So then I spoke up. <laughs> You go to a hotel pool, you're saying it's- That's not my point. No, your point is, I think it's the best pool in the world, and yes, I think it's amazing. It now, what I mean is, we was, live here, and it was great. but but it also, we live here in this house, and we get to swim in that pool. Yes, it's wonderful. Which is fucking like a, an amazing, like I can't believe it's right here. So it is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I'm, yes okay. I get it. Then, Scott made a fresh pot of coffee. <laughs> What'd you say about that? I, that was the second thing I said. I'll admit I did say two things. I said, I said, I said, I said Scott. 
Yeah. I said, this is a good, good cup of Joe, Scott. Like you see, like that's such a little comment and it's great to Scott, but like, it's Come great on. to Scott. What about, about the rest of you? Like the day, the day he actually makes the best cup of coffee. I didn't say it was is the it best. Gonna, is it gonna mean anything to him? This is all about the day I complimented your vlog and Todd's vlog about an hour apart and he was so pissed off because he thinks he's that much better than Todd. He was so pissed. He was so pissed. He was literally like, what the fuck, Jason? He's like, how can my vlog be good if Todd's was good? He texts me great vlog. How many times, Scott, does, does uh, Jason text you great vlog? Remember? <laughs> Alright, there is something truly magnificent about being sad, and that is that everyone can be sad. Some people are sad sometimes, other people are sad all the time, and this is just a song about being sad. whoop de doo let's get to it! Ha <laughs> ha! I've got a problem, I'm always so sad. The littlest things get me pissed off or mad. My life's pretty good, no I don't have it bad, so it's hard to explain all these feelings.